I'm just going to keep running. You won't see me in a castle again anytime soon. We should probably return to General Finn. I would expect him to locate the nearest Alpha camp and connect with its commander. Take care. Oh, damn humidity. It seems you caused quite a row in Castle Ancilla. I've been watching the Tuatha panic ever since you wriggled through that pipe. Well done. You have my eternal gratitude. Really, there are few who would have done what you did. It would have been an honor to fight beside you at Mel Senshir. Please, take this shield. It is the one thing I made sure they never took from me. That and my dignity. I'll never look at a stronghold the same way again. And the stories always described Ancilla as an elegant place, a home fit for kings. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. My parents were wealthy merchants in Rathia, people who did not appreciate the ease in which they had found themselves. I wanted to do better. I wanted to serve. For years, I fought against the Tuatha and their corrupt, maddening ways. We had them at first, I know we did, but then something changed. They became unstoppable. <sighs> the estate of Lady Clary Ancilla once stretched all the way from the Caled Coast north to Cursewood, but that was before the Gastiers invaded and built their own keep. That is a long story. And both those families fell into ruin with the arrival of the Bulgan. You may have met Captain Drun Ancilla. He is the last living heir to the keep. He can have it. My men and I were handpicked by General Tilera to infiltrate the Tuatha lines at Mel Senshir and sow confusion in the ranks. Ancilla was the key to the Caled Coast. A fortress overlooking the House of Pride and the passage into Alabastra. That's where our mission ended in disaster. Good luck to you. Oh, hello. Welcome back. What can the heir of Ancilla do for you? So it was you. My agents reported a great deal of activity behind the castle walls. They noticed the sentries leaving their posts and the smoke rising. Well done, my friend. Please, take this helm as a reward. You were a fast friend of House Ancilla, but the castle alone does not make me lord of the Caled Coast. I still require the evidence of my legitimacy. I speak of the seal of Ancilla and the verdant blades, my father's medallion and war chakrams. Caleb was once a lush, vibrant domain, ruled by my father and his brother Port. It had been in our family for generations, and our subjects were a peaceful people. Of course, the Gastir family was constantly claiming the land as their own, going so far as to build a castle that looked down upon us. Looked down on us. The seal was forged by my great-great-grandmother, the first Clary Ancilla, mother of the Caleb nobles. She crafted it herself from scarab salts and terrenium. The verdant blades belonged to my father. He used them in the many battles fought to secure our borders. They have no equal in Cluricon, or anywhere for that matter. 
I was hoping you'd volunteer. Getting the heirlooms will be a challenge. You see, they are held in a family lockbox, the key to which is not in my possession. As for the key, I made a mistake. I was young, foolish. The night before the Bolgan came, I gave the key to a girl. She was... how can I put this? My childhood love. Her name is Hilared Gastir. Yes, a Gastir, a sworn enemy of House Ancilla. It was a gesture. I meant to show her what she meant to me. But now, she has what I need. If you can convince Hillared to give you the key, you will need to retrieve the items from the lockbox in the old family fortress of Sea-Watch to the east. Good luck. We're trickling in from the drowned forest in isolated units, not a cohesive front, which is a problem. The geography, the foliage, it's a logistical nightmare. Captain Trav was able to force a wedge into the Tuatha defenses, enough to slip into Alabastra. But breaking through is one thing, holding the line is another. I was raised here. Strange how small it all seems now. Almost like we were all playing at being lords of this land, and that we never had any real power. Even now I can feel it, a darkness. The place doesn't want us here. It never has. Why else would such tragedy have befallen my family? Every dark corner is cursed. I was only ten years old when the Bolgan came. All I remember of this place are scattered memories. My mother's screams. My father's blood on my boots. I've devoted every coin of our family fortune to the war effort, knowing that one day I'd return to the coast and reclaim what was mine. How I long to see Hillared again. But my responsibility to my family comes first. The last I saw of Hillared was at the Battle of Mel Senshir. She became a soldier like me. I'm not surprised. She was always tough. Try checking her family's keep, Castle Gastir. She would likely go there. If she survived, that is. Goodbye. Blessed Lyria, I know you. That's right. The last time I saw you was when you dangled from the Baylor like a drop of spittle on a Bolgan's chin. Mercy, the hero of Melson Shear. I'd know the face anywhere. Let me guess. The army has you out here on a special mission? Me, I'm just trying to live through the nights, trying to find a bit of time to myself to explore. May the heavens fall! Do you have any idea what these are? These are Lady Ancilla's children, the lost dolls of Lady Ancilla, last bride of House Ancilla. I'd hoped to go on the hunt for these once we drove out the Bulgan, but I don't see that happening in the near future. Maybe we can work together, meaning you keep searching the Caled Coast for the rest of the dolls, and I can compensate you if you find them. I'd try the Ancilla Ruins, and maybe the castle. The dolls were last seen on Lady Ancilla when her family was killed by the Bolgan. After you put a dagger into the Baylor at Melsin Shear, the rest of us were sent in to mop up the mess made by the Tuatha. We keep pressing south to Alabastra. The poor hag was driven mad by her isolation out here on the Caled Coast. They say she took the life of her youngest, smothered him with her chamber pillow. After that, it was only a matter of time until every last breath of reason blew out of her. She made the dolls, and they became her new family. I'm from the plains of Erethil, from Colm. My family moved west after the invasion, but I chose instead to fight. I think about them every day.
You look familiar. I hope you're having more fun than I am. Caled Coast is not a peaceful place to stand guard. I'd try the Ancilla Ruins, and maybe the castle. The dolls were last seen on Lady Ancilla when her family was killed by the Bolgan. Like the gilded ghosts of youth, the curving plates of fey-like scrolls decorate the life's guard of this imposter. By the gods, it was horrible. He killed them all, and nothing could stop him. It was Dren, that freak who guards the House of Pride. He told us to leave, but we thought we could beat him. He's just one fey, and not even a Tuatha, but nothing hurt him, and he slaughtered us all. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. 
We'd heard the legends of Dren the Bloody, unbeatable defender of the House of Pride. But you know how Fey are with their stories. We were going to be the ones who beat him, and opened the path to Alabastra for the army. We were going to be heroes, you know? Then Dren told us to turn around or we'd die. And God help us, we didn't turn around. You can turn around and run, like me! You have arrived and our work may begin. Much, much has changed since I was here. This place is awash with this corruption, this foul crystal. How dare the Tuatha permit this to happen to the Tomb of the Weeping King? This was a sacred place, a holy site, and they let it fall to this? But we must not delay. To reach the key to the sorrows, you will need this votive, and three others like it. We must search sincere for them. To reach the key means pushing deeper into the hollow, which will be difficult, for the path is barred to all but those who tended this place. The tenders of this hollow carried votives, but the tenders are gone now, though I am certain the votives remain. We must find them. Very well.
So you have recovered all of the votives. Then we may press onward to the next trial. The Crying Eyes. When we have reached them, I will tell you more. But now we must press onwards. Farther still into the bowels of Sincere. We shall find it mortal if only we press onwards. Very well. Hmm. There. The votives have served their purpose. Come, let us go deeper into Sincere. Before we can reach the key, we have one final challenge to bypass. The crying eyes. We must find them. Very well. This is the other obstacle we must encounter. The Crying Eyes. They are the last guardian on the path to the key. You must approach them, mortal. They will show you the way forward, if only you answer them. By studying them, it is not a riddle, so much as a test of patience. Imitate the Crying Eyes and the way will open. Very well. Yes? We must hurry to recover the key to the Sorrow's Mortal. We must go past where the Crying Eyes stand. We are on the cusp of reaching them, if only we press on. Very well.
That is the key to the Sorrow's Mortal. It is perhaps not the sort you are used to, but that is certainly it. It is a branch of the ancient and wizened tree whose roots touch this world and Ishara, the plane of magic to which all Fae belong. It is a branch of the Gallows Tree. The Sorrows take the form of the Gallows Tree in both realms, and this branch creates the bridge between them. Come, let us ferry it to Bizarrain. Very well.
We've still a lot now. What is it that I can do for you? May I help you? Be careful out there. Stay close to the village. Welcome to Gorhart Inn. We'll see you soon. I've got supplies if you need them.
You have the key to the sorrows. That was well done. Indeed, everything you have done is more than I could have possibly hoped for. My reliance on you to this point was never my initial plan. I only needed Cadarock dead at the hands of someone else. But when I learned how willing you were to hound the Tuatha, I saw you would rise to every occasion. You became my faithful instrument. How could Saturnin have eluded the minds of so many for these long years? Simple. He was a ruse. His existence was fabricated. While all eyes watched for Saturnin, another was free to wage his war. Namely, me. All for the glory of Gadflow and our god. When you killed the Baylor, I saw an opportunity to end the house and the mortal army simultaneously. You became my road to a perfect victory. You mean, why not announce my intent in a more obvious and boorish, or shall we say, mortal manner? I had to have the sorrows, but they were lost. It took years before I even learned of the Eldest, much less their location. To reach the Eldest, I needed this house to die. To do that, I needed a rebellion. To do that, I needed an assassination. And to do that, I needed you. True, I do not share the face of my brethren. As I explained to Gadflow, it was a necessary part of the plan. I have not worn this mask without sacrifice. Too long have I gone without feeling the warmth of Prismere or the love of my god. But soon, soon this will end. And I can take my rightful place again. Your ignorance of Fey culture, meaning your intonation, made you ideal. You lacked the context others might have used to expose me. But there is more. You are the hero of Mel Sanchir. You may not admit it, but you are a symbol to mortals, a rallying point for their armies. Who better to be the blade that I used to kill the Alphar? Who better to destroy the House of Sorrows? It makes my triumph complete. Perfect. You seriously think your words might stir me to forsake a plan that has finally culminated after 20 years? Your audacity disgusts me. There is nothing to be offered or given or threatened, mortal. I cannot be stopped here, and I cannot be followed. But take heart. You will die long before the sorrows descend upon the minds of your mortal armies. Mercer will gut you here. Farewell. No, they're gonna kill the Elders.
You survived. For better or worse, I know not. The house is in ruins, the eldest lie butchered, and Bizarain has betrayed us to the Tawatha. He must be denied. For our honored sorrow, our broken pride, our due vengeance. He cannot be allowed to use the house for war. He is at the birthplace of summer and winter, where the Weeping King first pooled the anguish and decay inherent in all winter fae, Ashara. It is the plane from which all fae descend when they are reborn, and to which they return when they die. It is a place of pure magic. I fear you may have had enough of secrets, but here is mine. I am the Weeping King reborn. Bizarre needed a key to reach the sorrows. I do not. I did not always know. When you went to Damal Rock, I meditated beneath the gallows tree. And a part of me that had long slumbered awakened. It makes sense now. Why I could practice delving when all had lost the art. Why I can commune with sorrows. Be it fate or chance, we must take advantage of this. I, I think that as the Weeping King, I can bring us to the sorrows in time to stop Bizarrain. It is both near and far. It will be difficult for a mortal to understand. Ashara is an ethereal plane, another realm of existence. In the Midden, the barrier between this realm and Ashara is weak, and we can exploit that. I, I do not know what will happen if I attempt to bring you into Ashara, but you have a strong will. That alone may save you. Bizarrain has a head start on us. However short, it is likely still enough. Be on your guard. We must hurry. You, you have a strong force of will, stronger than I felt possible. I have never heard tell of a mortal that could stand in Ashara. But we are here. I, I can recall now, vaguely. I walked this place before, and shaped the ground. That tree in the center, it is the embodiment of the sorrows. Bizarrain will be there, but he has prepared himself. This barrier keeps us from him, and there are other magics at work. It is a place the weeping ki that I that I crafted to house the sorrows. Beyond its borders is Ashara, 
the plane of magic. When Fae are born, their life force comes from Ashara, and to Ashara their life force returns upon death. This is a powerful place. The tree in the center of the space, the inversion of the gallows tree that you've seen in the midden, that is the form of the sorrows. The midden is the cradle of winter. It is connected to this realm where the winter fay descend from. The gallows tree serves to bridge the midden and Ashara. Yes, we can. I can sense the conduits the magic follows and there are weak points, nexuses of energy that we can exploit. But Bizarrain is no fool. He will not leave them unguarded. And I feel strange presences. There is something waiting, mortal. Something dreadful. We are all but gone, and all that remains in our stead are whisperers. In many ways, we were the vanguards of winter. We became the harbingers of this doom. But there is some small hope in knowing that there was life before the House of Sorrows, in the time of the Weeping King. Once, it seemed nothing more than a symbol of our house. But I have come to learn things I never would have understood had it not been here. The gallows tree is more important than we ever thought, mortal. Take heart of it, for we will need its strength in the times of need ahead. They could delve the essence of entropy from the bodies of the Winter Fae, but they did more, so much more. The Weeping King lived on through them, his axe persisting long after he left these lands. For the Weeping King is always needed, even now. Once he was a mighty figure among us, but when the house reached an accord with the Tuatha, he would not accept the terms and left. I know he fights for the sake of our people, but in truth, I have always feared him. It is hard to trust one that gives into war so soon. Bizarrain is correct in that he can manipulate the magic of this place, but we can manipulate it as well, if not as easily. The barrier is strong, but it feeds off nexuses of energy and those of vulnerable. We must destroy them to reach Bizarrain. We must hurry. We, we meet again, mortal. Can I, can I truly be here, standing before the sorrows? I remember, no, no swords, fire, and then, and then, nothing. But he brought me back to fight you. I cannot, I can't. I'm sorry, mortal. So, so sorry. <laughs> dare tread here. A mortal dare shows himself in the sacred lands of the House of Sorrows. I have been dead a short time, and already I learned so much since he raised me. You are the cause of all this. Bizarrain relied on you for his plans. Because of you, the house is dead. <laughs>
finally, you have come. I must admit, I did not give you credit when last we faced each other. And now, I am here. My master has raised me to protect his labors, and I will oblige him. You may have bested me previously, but you will not do so again. Perhaps if I take your head here, my master will have faith in me once again. Shall we find out? <laughs> So you have finally reached me. I have waited, mortal. The longest of any I have waited. And now, Bizarrain has raised me against my will to be part of his design. I sought to stop him. I found the plan he had conspired, and I fled the house, for I knew not what to do. But I could have stopped this scheme. And then you came and killed me. And now I am a puppet to his will. He cannot be stopped, mortal. Bizarrain cannot be stopped. <laughs> You have slain what vestiges of your past I could conjure, and the barrier has fallen. So now, we are here. You think your presence here can stay my spells? The last words have been uttered. You are too late to stop me. I cannot. You do not understand Fey, mortal. What I do is for the good of all the Winter Kingdom. There are fires coming to this world. I have only glimpsed a fleeting shadow of them, and I am awed, and scared, and humbled. Only the two Arthur will be able to bear these tribulations, so they must survive this war. Now, you understand why I must fight. I have to fight!
Kirin may be dead, but the death blow is still his. The sorrows have already begun escaping their seal. We need to act quickly, or this will all be for nothing. I must seal the sorrows within myself. I... I do not know for sure. I will be forced to remain in Ashara, lest the sorrows break free once more. Whether I will live or die is unclear. But... but I cannot be afraid. It must be done. For the good of mortals. For the good of Fae. I... it is a noble sentiment, mortal. But you do not understand. They must be anchored in Ashara, and you cannot remain here. Only I can. But please, bear witness to this last act. Tell the world what happened here, how the House of Sorrows ended. We must hurry.